That boy be going off still. <laughs> mm. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Yo. Meth still going in, man. That's that lemon squeeze, lemon squeeze. We got a big announcement from Conway the Machine, but that was Conway the Machine featuring that man, Lemon. Mm. Drop a bomb for that one, you know what I'm saying? Intro in the pod, we back again. The Urban Analyst is back in the building, man. It's your boy. AKA the Urban Analyst, man, I'm here. Here with the homie. Sticks is in the building, what's happening? What's going on, P? What's going on, bro? Stay right. tuned. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. What's up, world? Hello, world. Oh, hello. Yeah. Hello. Oh, right. oh, See, shit. This is, this is new. The first time in a while. But this is dope, man. We here. The Urban Analyst Podcast is back. That intro music just got me uh, nice and revitalized. You know what I'm saying? That shit was a uh, fire, lemon squeeze. My man, Conway the Machine, Method Man. I seen a recent uh, interview of Method Man. He was on the Talib Kweli joint. I know Talib Kweli is not a name people like hearing nowadays. We'll get into that later. Yeah. Uh, but yes, he was on the Talib podcast and he was talking about how. Uh, if these other new rappers out here want to verse, holla at him, he got eat. And then all of a sudden, Conway comes out with a song with Method Man. <laughs> and Method Man dropping in fucking bars. That's initiative. Motherfucking bars on the ass right now. So that I was very, very happy to see, happy to hear. Uh, this short is fire. And the announcement that Conway uh, gave us was that from king to a god. Oh, yeah. It's coming. Another one. The the cover art is released. Finally, the track list is even released, and uh, it is it is coming out no uh, November, not November, guys. Excuse me, uh, September. Damn. September 11th. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, 9-11. Okay. Drop oh, the 9-11. Oh, all coming. right. I'm not gonna drop the bomb emo. Uh, bomb emo. <laughs> <laughs> that's just, that's just yeah. That's disrespectful. So I'm gonna just give him a round of applause right, yeah. for Conway the Machine, yeah. not for 9/11. Not for that. No. Just Hell disclaimer, no. guys. Yeah. This round of applause for Conway is for, for Conway. Conway the Machine and from King to a God. Don't cancel us. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Uh, for sure. Uh, definitely happy about that announcement. Um, uh, Griselda. Yo. Fucking Griselda, man. They working. They don't fucking stop working, bro. They working right now. Yeah, I, yeah, they definitely working right now. You know what I'm saying? What if they were at the verses last night and they were working, but like, yo, while they were upstairs, they downstairs recorded, like, yo, y'all done with the... Come down here and make these tracks with us when y'all done. I mean, I heard Benny is in the ATL right now, so it might not have been Benny, but maybe Westside and Conway was in Miami. You know what I'm saying? Maybe. In that day county. But shout out to them, man. Um, new music on the, on, the, on the horizon. New music is out. Oh, yeah. The baby, the baby, the baby, the baby. You know what I'm saying? The Deluxe. baby is out. Ba uh, not the baby on Baby Deluxe. It is the blame it on Baby Deluxe. I put that wrong in the topic. That's my bad. It's okay. It's a lot of babies. He does a lot of babies. Albums. I think he got that from <laughs> Kanye with the racks on racks on racks, baby on baby on baby on baby. I get it, I get it. Kanye didn't make the album something wax, thing, you know what I'm saying? All right, facts, facts, so, facts, facts, facts. therefore, the baby's oversaturating me with baby. You know what I mean? He got a Shanti. I mean, who got a Shanti? Tory Lane's got a Shanti. Like, but on, on what should we call it on the album there was mm -hmm. this one track I think it was him and Meg mm -hmm. it was all three of them and I'm not even going live when I heard Ashanti because I'm not like looking at the track list first I'm I'm yeah. listening mm -hmm. when I heard her come on I'm like I heard Meg <laughs> and I'm like I heard I'm like yo mm -hmm. I felt some waves nice. passionately I'm not gonna lie man I like two songs of the deluxe it's just me 
I feel only like, only two songs. He dropped ten new tracks for the deluxe, right? Okay. Like ten like new 17, tracks. 18 tracks. It was like sixteen when he dropped the regular. So he dropped ten more, so it was like twenty six and a half or whatever. Uh the ten tracks out of the ten, I only like two. Practice. Practice goes hard. Yeah. I fuck with practice. Actually it's three. All right, because I fuck with Peephole too. I fuck with yeah, Peephole. Peephole got Peephole's me. kind of dope, but I'm not really fucking with most of the other songs. On there. You know what I'm saying? The Strickland Bag obviously is gonna be a hit. That's just what it is. It's, they make hits together. I, I honestly like the shit he did for Meg's album more than this song. I have a quick question. Do you feel like maybe like at some point while you were listening to this album, it felt like you were listening to the regular album? Yeah, at certain I mean, points, like, besides I him like, telling me this is deluxe, he <laughs> said that shit on every new track. Yeah, well, this he is deluxe. The <laughs> you know, I didn't want to do it deluxe. I was like, yes, you did. Yes, you did. Thank you. <laughs> you it, this, the fact that you're saying that makes me know that you made you <laughs> wanted to do a deluxe. These are not old songs that you just had in the stash. <laughs> These are new tracks that you made on purpose oh, to become a deluxe album. So, no, yeah, you did. You actually did. <laughs> you actually did want to make a deluxe there, my friend. So, I mean, that's cool. You know, I know I should have known deluxes in the last episode, and it is what it is. It's just how I feel. We got another one. Another deluxe. Like next Friday, we're going to have gonna another have one. We're going to have some more deluxes. It's going to be some more deluxes out here. It's going to be like a Rick Ross 2 Chains deluxe or something. You know what I'm saying? Hey, maybe maybe deluxe. something from one of them is going to be a deluxe album or something. They, they, they released some new heat last night. Both of them Oh, yes, they did. And yes, I, they did. I, I enjoyed that. I guess we're just going to jump right into the 2 Chains versus Ross. I guess we can just start and start. You know what I'm saying? We can just jump. We, we, we'll be all over the place for this podcast. That's cool. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I fuck with that 2 Chains versus Ross last night. It was dope. It went down. It was cool. Shout out to the comedian Tony Baker on uh, on Instagram. He was not in <laughs> he was not in the chat like he usually is on all the verses because uh, he said that shit was dry as fuck. <laughs> so yeah, I understand. I understand where it's coming from. While I, while this I was entertained. For most of the night by yeah. the by the verses because I like most of the songs and know and know most of the songs that was getting played. I can understand a viewpoint that says the shit was dry because um, the performances was kind of eh. ad lib. It was a lot of ad libbing of your own oh. songs. You know he would jump in and out of his own song, but some of them are old tracks that I know that these niggas don't know the verses. But if you put it in your list, I would have thought you would have rehearsed it. Yeah. Just me. Maybe because they were, like, really, like, smoked up. Like, bro, it, it was high. really smoked up, pulled up, too. It was like they were smoking a good gas, too. You know what I'm saying? So, you heard Ross say, you know, we smoking them cookies. And I feel like he got them legit cookies. Yeah. Cookies. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> them kind of cookies. That's a fact. And I'm and and, and uh, two chains has the most expensivest where he's where he's fucking tried the fucking highest grade of weed, the most expensivest type of weed you could buy. I'm pretty sure he had a little bit of dabs of the good stuff in in his joints. Um, in his joints. So. Sounds like they had some like really you know elite tarantulas, elite rapper weed in that motherfucker. You know what oh, I mean? the golden blood. Yeah, yeah. Whatever two chains was smoking. That was that shit, you know what I mean? Because <laughs> they change. was long and fat, you know what I mean? So I wanted two chains to win. Two I mean, chains, two chains looks like nice. me, but he did win. <laughs> but it was like it's hard for two chains to win. It's too many fucking too many too many hits from Ross, man. It, it's what did um what did two chains play right before this nigga Ross plays? Stay scheming like it's yeah. just a cheat code. Yeah. It's a cheat code that he has. Some of the tracks, two chains would play some of his best shit, and then Ross would come back with just one of those, the one, you know, what I mean? one of those ones. It was fucking, I'm a boss that came after one of the 
one of the hardest shits that Two Chains played. You know what I'm saying? Damn, the songs y'all mentioned because like I don't remember like literally song for song what y'all said last week. Yeah, yeah, me but. Neither. Bro, we was playing. I was and they was all home. they was in the verses. Yeah, some and of them, I was just like, some of them he didn't. Two chains didn't play. The ones that I played, he didn't play those. This is true. But he played. He played his hits. That's for sure. I will give him that. Definitely. Played the one. He was like, I played plats on plats on plats. He's like, this one got a plat. This one got a plat. This one got a plat. I was, I, I respect it. <laughs> <laughs> go moving them units. Go through your accolades. Units. The lack of energy in the performance, but it could be because they were intoxicated. Highly intoxicated. Now, the gimmicks were awesome. I'm oh, fine. hell yeah. Def- yes. Shout out to y'all gimmicks. Wait, can we get a bomb? I won't strippers? say the strippers, the essential workers, excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny, Trey. It's the essential workers. Uh, that's not a gimmick. That was just great old, good old fashioned entertainment from Chains right there. Uh, he definitely won that round. <laughs> the round he brought the strippers in for sure. That was probably and maybe the only round. Or no, him, no, like, no, like, no, no, like no, 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 no. I gave him five. I, I had it like 13 7 at okay. the end of my show. You uh-huh. know what I mean? Um, but he definitely won that round. Ross definitely lost the round where he took his shirt off. <laughs> You lost that round. <laughs> no, 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 Pat. No, no, they no, it getting hot in there. That nigga was getting a fucking oil down massage from the shorty while he was sitting in a chair. There's no top on. I don't know what the heck was going on. He got that damn massage for like three songs straight. So people want to sit there. You want to complain about the energy? He's sitting down getting massage while the songs are playing. That's I mean, That's hilarious. come on. It's, it's hilarious. It's hilarious. And, um, and some of those songs, he won on those songs. Yo, the song, you don't got to do nothing. He deserves to win. You know what I'm saying? But it's my dude. <laughs> no one asked for that part. You had the Balenciaga sweater on, and it was nice. <laughs> Matching with your Balenciaga sneakers. And um, you switched up a mighty heavily... After that, sir, uh, I'm glad the, a, a shirt did come on for the later half of but, the verses. But, but it was an open shirt. It was an open shirt, nice <laughs> Miami Breeze type shirt. That was one of those Miami Beach shirts. You know, and, uh, it is what it is. It's just how Ross likes to rock out. Uh, yeah, he definitely lost that round with that. I'm just saying. <laughs> just saying lost that round but it was it, it, it was a great battle great music obviously these guys are have good catalogs people were definitely sleeping on two changes um feature bag yeah. uh, when i'm listening to the battle i definitely was like yo this nigga is he had a run of features from Titty like boy. like years he was just doing features we forget about that shit about two chains. Like he was on everybody's track, so that's why he's playing like mad shit. Bro. Just M- remember the ATL when the ATL came, when ATL the movie came out. Oh yeah. And like I think like the TI album or like the PSC crew out al- like album that came out around that same time. Like yo, I think he was on like not a few, but I know there was like maybe one or two tracks. That makes I, sense. We, we heard Atlanta, that, and, that makes perfect sense. But I'm just talking about from songs for fucking. Nicky. Uh, songs with you know um, Drake, uh, the Kanye songs. The he just had so many features. Like he had a run where he was just on everyone's track, and I kind of forgot about that shit before the album. I mean, before the verses. Excuse me. And that shit reminded me heavily. Like this nigga was a feature king for like a few years, and it was it was duly noted in that battle. And um, it was a good celebration of that. You know what I'm saying? Um, shout out to both of those guys. Big shout out. They did their thing. They did their thing. Another versus down. And uh, I'm looking forward to more, man. I'm looking forward to more, man. Oh, always, man. Ooh, shout out to Swiss and Timbaland. Putting out a good product once again. You know? We can get a Black Thought, Talib, Kweli. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're not doing that shit Say less. right now. Say less. We will talk about this 
in Friday. detail. I've got something that is not on the topic list that we have to discuss. Okay. And it is on all of that. Oh, all of let's, that let's go. All right. But we got to, since we bounced around, we talked about 2 chains and Ross. So we're going we to go back into the music. Don Kennedy, had Hit Boy, Half a Mill, as, uh, I forgot the name of the album. Uh, as known as, 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 as known as. as. There's a lot of stuff going on. With <laughs> they, they, they just should go by half a mil. Half a mil, goddammit. Half a mil. That's, that's, what y'all, that's what y'all call yourself in the mixtape series. Call yourself half a mil from now on. But yes, Don Kennedy, Pit Boy, dropped a new uh, project. And it's pretty dope, man. Like good sounds, good sonics. Hit Boy's always going to deliver on the production. I ain't the biggest hit boy rapper fan, you know what I'm saying? I think sometimes he gets he gets stuck on too many uh, on doing the same syllable every fucking time. Yeah, and that's what kind of makes me a fucking annoyed. But uh, not not the biggest uh, hit boy fan. But as far as rapping, hit boy definitely on them on them chords <laughs> and them beats. You can't talk to him about nothing, you know what I'm saying? But uh, Don Kennedy shows some of his good stuff again. I miss. The good Dom Kennedy, I ain't gonna lie. I miss Summertime Dom yeah. Kennedy. I miss Yellow Album Dom Kennedy. I really miss that shit, man. It, I just wish I could get some more of that. You know what I'm saying? Somebody get him back in the stoop with those sounds, and he need to go for that and keep doing that shit because that was the Dom Kennedy I fuck with. Facts. Heavy. But wait, how'd you feel about City on Lock? Mmm. Like, so so. I mean, it was a good song. You know what I mean? But, uh, oh, you mean his album? No, so the, no not the album. The, oh, song, the song off of As Known As. Yeah. As, I'm sorry, I can't, I can't go with the album name right now. <laughs> as Known As. As Known As. As right. Known As. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. It was a good song. It was all right. What you think of it? That was, was that like guy? my like favorite song out the whole entire album. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Like, yeah. I, yeah, I, gotcha. I, I, I like the beat, you know? Mm-hmm. Exactly. It's always a hit. Nas, you know, you throw a little Nas in there. I'm gonna, <laughs> Nas sample. You know? you always going to get stuck on that one. Oh, yeah. Sure. I would, too. I would, too. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Yeah. But, yeah, man. Uh, also, today drops. We had some Friday drops as well. Uh, obviously, Lemon dropped today. That was Conway and Machine. That's me. I dropped today. That was Mene cool. dropped his album today. Oh, well, excuse me. Can't read it. Uh, but, um... Yeah, that's all the hip hop drops. It wasn't wasn't the most busiest of Fridays in this uh, August seventh to the one inch one day. You know what I mean? Wasn't the busiest busiest of Fridays, but welcome right. home, Jewel Santana. Wanted to uh, make sure I put that in there. You know what I mean? Welcome back, <coughs> welcome back. Twenty minutes in, and I fucking forgot that I didn't open the podcast up the right way. I didn't open up the podcast saying Black Lives Matters and support black business. I need to support black business. Black Lives Matter. Always. I'll be forgetting. I'm sorry I'll be forgetting. 25 Not 24-7. 25 Facts. All day, every day. You know what I'm saying? But yes, welcome home, Jewels. Uh, we are also hearing that Bobby Schmurder is having a hearing where he may be set to release very soon as well. So shout out that Bobby Schmurder coming home, holding it down like a real one. Facts. Facts. You know, taking the rap, doing his time, sat down for real like a man should. And, uh, you know, when you do things that are, you know, will get you into those positions, uh, unlike a guy named 6 9 uh, who we, we, we try to avoid talking about on this podcast as much as I can. But, you know, he was unfortunately in New York wilding the fuck out recently now that he gets off parole, I believe. And yeah. he can walk around and shit like this. So now he he's in it, bro. He's bringing too much bad, negative energy around. <coughs> he didn't learn. Oh, no, he didn't learn. We learned that he didn't learn as soon as he came outside. <laughs> as soon as he got released, we learned he didn't learn. He said there still on the suck by dicks and... I got more money than this nigga and this nigga and that nigga and he made a he made a new vid two new he videos. He made two new videos. One week, with one like, with Nicky. Yeah, one. Come on. That I think they released something. Like, didn't he drop something this week? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They did a they they shoot it they were shooting the video. That's why he was in New York. That's why he was outside. So he was doing video shoots and shit. And he did some little meet and greet shit out there as well, but you know. 
Excuse me. Somebody, be, uh, you can't touch this nigga. If you seen, like people, people are really saying like, yo, why nobody touch this nigga? Why nobody go up on him, son? Why nobody run up on him? You, if you seen <laughs> the shots of this man being outside, you understand why now. Yeah. That nigga is like the Pope. How protected he is with, with like actual guards. Like it looks that's, like an expensive lifestyle. It's yo, that's that's that, that's like top tier. It's like a little bit underneath presidential. Yeah, it was like, very. It was just right underneath. I wouldn't call him the president, but it was popish the way it was protected. The niggas, like. Right. I'm just saying. And the little thing, it looked like the Pope Mobile, but on the side yeah, of when he was in the little. And then he's in the mall and he's going up the escalator. Niggas is trying to come up to him. The, the guards are shutting the people nah, away. I was like, yo, how much does this cost? You saw that video of him and like he decided to like, he, he acted like he was getting chased. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was just like, that was whack. I was like, yo, that bro. Was like, I was like, dude. Gotta stop, bro. Like it's all propaganda, bro. It's all so he can just be seen. Like, you're he also doesn't matter how he gets your situation, seen. though. Nigga, he doesn't care, bro. Did you see? It's like, it's like. Did you see the video of the protesters at the killers of of George Floyd's house? Hell yeah. That's how his shit probably looked. The way the cops was outside that nigga's house trying to protect the house is probably how it looks at Six Nine's place. Yo, but that's hey, how a guard. Hey, that's hey, how hey, guarded that shit is, probably, because the hey, nigga got guards everywhere all the time. He gotta keep putting the music out so he can keep. So playing. you get paying this shit. <laughs> but it's like he gets the check and throws it right back to him. So it's like, yo, bro, he ain't eating. So all, all them chains is his old chains. Yeah, he can't be eating, bro. I don't. I don't see how he eating, bro. Maybe depending, like on, like, because I feel like it's an overtime thing with this. Like, yo, you're putting all this shit out now, but we don't know how much you put in to put this shit out. Yeah. So it's like, you're not going to really see the benefits of that until, like, the end, if I if I get fiscal here. Like, the end of the fiscal year. Yeah. Yeah, man. I don't know, man. Um, it just It's just a stupid situation. You know what I'm saying? Like, I heard somebody say, like, how is it... Facts. How is he held as, a, as like, you know... He gets like the heroic treatment in a sense, but like you know, and is celebrated in spite of all, he's everything he did. Celebrated by a certain group. Of people. Okay. There's, a, there's enough, a vast there. majority of people that are real people and know about the circumstance that really don't fuck with it. But there are people that really don't care about none of that shit and really don't, you know, base their uh, stuff, base their decisions and morals and principles. <clears throat> so they would agree with probably some of the things he does so therefore they follow him, you know what I'm saying or they just tolerate him I won't I don't tolerate it I don't listen to the music I only see the shit that gets put in my face the headlines and I'm seeing That's him it. walking around New York I'm seeing guards all over the place I'm seeing people trying to run up on him and shit and say what up or, or maybe negatively but they can't do nothing about it because this mad motherfucking brolic ass white man around this nigga guarding him and it's like Bro, okay. in that video where Let's like one of the, pe the people that was taking pictures with him was like one of the like the last like three seconds. He had to ask the security guard if he could put his hand like his wow. arm around it like his shoulder like at that meet and greet thing. Yeah, like because wow. you say yo, is it okay? And yeah. like like you see six <laughs> nine looking at him and he's like, yeah. You can do it. <laughs> like, he had to get the cues. Like, you, oh, you you get permission. Oh uh, guard, the, is this school guard? No. <laughs> no. Shoulder. No. Yeah. Okay. Handshake? <laughs> High five? Yeah. Hug? No, no, no touching at all? COVID? Okay, no problem. You know and and nobody was wearing a face mask. Nobody. So that, that, that shit kills me. Yeah, you know, shit doesn't work. <laughs> so they think. Uh, but yeah, that and he was giving out money to the kids and shit. It's like, this is an expensive lifestyle, huh? Bro, whose money is that? Facts. Whose stack is that? Well, bro, it was, was that off this? the Trolls video? Possibly. Hmm. Is it that he do this or, you know, pick up the Kanye shit and just, like, go hard body God? Ugh. Like, I'm Jesus warrior. I'm going to repent. God is everything. Oh, no. He better not use God as a scapegoat. Bro. It's just, we've seen so, some weird shit in 2020. I feel like we can get weirder. The past, past few years with Kanye, man. Kanye, I got to give you this, man. I have to, man. Because, listen, yeah. I know... 
I know you you was reluctant to to have top Kanye on the top of the list when I first put him on a few weeks ago. Yes, I was. But and I my whole thing my was because of what I'm about to announce to you right now is the reason why I have to talk about this. I take a note. You do not let shit just slide. Do not. You can't just be silent. You, if I have an audience, which is what we have with all Urban Analyst podcast, gotta let y'all know. Don't fall for the fuck. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Thank and you I gotta I tell y'all, don't fall. Now. Don't fall for the fuckery. Kanye West <laughs> is being infiltrated with the Republican Party. Mm-hmm. The Republican Party is trying to infiltrate the vote. Mm-hmm. They are using Kanye West mm-hmm. to get in certain ballots in swing states. Yep. So therefore, it can discourage voters for voting for Biden and yep. have another outlet to vote. It's not not Trump, Trump, not Biden, but We're dickhead Kanye. over here. Yes. And fuck up certain votes that will go to somebody else. This is the kind of misdirection we don't need. This is for you to, first off, for you to consider Kanye as worthy of a vote means you're a little unstable in my opinion because you're voting for somebody unstable. You clearly see he's unstable too because the South Carolina rally, the the, the tweeting, the yeah. tweets, right? Like, okay, the tweets would probably remind you of Trump. Facts. The tweets probably remind you of Trump. But fam, like, I feel like it's been like, inter- like I feel like it's been a progression of degradation. Yeah. Because it's like, mm-hmm. yo, like, and I, it's it, it's just like, you don't put certain shit out there. And if you are really going through mental, Absolutely. like, instability, Absolutely. you, you're Kanye The West. last thing you're going to do is pr- do a press run about it. You have money out right. the ass. And we've seen this or with, like, almost every time an album is about to come out, yeah. there's some drama. And now it's like, yo, bro. Are you serious? Like, how far have you... Like, this is why I, I really don't like Kanye. I can't respect I, I, him. You know I, I don't like him either, Pat. We don't no, like we don't. Kanye. We're not talking about Kanye because but, we like him. No, and but it's because of what he's trying to do. What he's trying to do. Like we're putting it on the podcast because we have to say and stand on our side of what our stance is and announce that. And tell our tell the people that may possibly listen to us and follow us that nigga ain't it. He ain't it. That's our stance. So yeah. I gotta I gotta stand firm on that. I also feel like with this because like I feel like with the tweeting and all this, yeah. And then you also look at who he's married to and the history yeah. of that family. I'm like, yo, this isn't like literally mm-hmm. like in all of this, it's like yo, you're dealing with now you're gonna be hurt. You could possibly screw up, drastically screw up, millions upon million. There's like 350 million Americans, mm-hmm. right? Documented and undocumented. If you want, we'll say 400 to round up and everybody's included. All right? 400 million people. When you're the president, when you're the leader of a country, every, every little thing mm-hmm. can affects us. Absolutely. We don't need this. And looking at the history of that family, and, and especially like, I, like big ups to John Legend for pointing that out on Instagram because yeah, that's yeah. how I saw it. Okay. Cause like, I just happened to wake up yeah, in the afternoon he, and you see he's it. He's one of the people that that basically gave the deep, gave details on it. But every, uh, but it was uh, it was announced that in a press conference they asked Trump mm-hmm. if he has Republican officials. Helping Kanye get on ballots in certain states. So he's, they say in, uh, Wisconsin is one of the states, which is one of our swing states, yeah. which can drastically determine the presidential nice. candidate. And I think Ohio too, right? Yeah, Wisconsin is. Oh, very good. Yeah, all of that shit. The same. You know what I mean? So it's it's rough. That that position right there is dangerous. It's dangerous. So and, and I want to harken back to something that you said was like if you really have these problems with mental health you kind of wouldn't be all all out here sitting there talking about it It wouldn't be something you're screaming from the mountaintop and while i agree i gotta i gotta link that to our larger conversation
because that's exactly, I believe, what the problem is with watching these like You're pandering your mental health. That's mm -hmm. our problem. Okay. You're pandering it. It's like, if you really got mental pro mental health problems, go seek help. Go get the, go do the right things and go to the right resources to go help with that situation. You wouldn't be on Genius sitting there talking to Rob Markman, telling him about your mental health. That's not the person that's going to help you. Like you know what I mean? But you do talk to Rob Markman when you want to drop an album. Thanks. So it's just funny that mental health and all of that stuff only pops up on album chart. So this is these okay. are the things that we... And then it's funny, with Kanye West, this shit only pops up around album time. Wasn't, wasn't Donda supposed to drop on us during this, right the day after the South Carolina yeah. um, rally? Yeah. His album was supposed to drop. Yeah, it didn't drop because in the it, they had a, a post of all the, the days that he's been late on all his albums. <clears throat> and it's like graduation, like 60 days late. Like it was like from all the way back then, wow. all the way to now, he's always been late with his album. So it's just, it is what it is. You know what I mean? This is, a, yeah, this he is just. He definitely marriage Trump. Yeah, yeah. I promise I'm going to so, have this done in two weeks. Yeah, exactly. We're now on week four, bro. Right, right. And you still have no, not. We still don't have a wall. Point. Where's the wall at? Forget the wall. <laughs> he Where's said the help he was, to the million? That. Where's the the help to? Because he said there was gonna be a, like a, a, a relief bill mm -hmm. in like two weeks. But he oh said yeah, that yeah, four yeah. weeks ago. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, yo, there are Still millions of it. people out here. You know, thankfully, like now we got an eviction freeze. Thank for that. Thank you, De Blasio, for right, that. Right. Like, I, I well, was that's like, New York. New York. It can only affect New it's, York. It's, it's like honestly, but it's like I'm, I'm grateful that we're here because yeah. it's like when you read the stories and you hear the news about how states. It's just like, from a common sense perspective, it's just like, yo, how, why, why? People don't care. That's what it is. It seems like you know, people, uh, people up top, they don't really have your best interest at in heart. It's all about know. either a, a dollar bill underlined or something else underlined, which we don't really have a grasp of, like publicly, like land grabs like you know eminent domain like oh you're gonna get yeah, tied yeah. into this corporation you which know is like gonna, genocide or some that shit too. you know what i mean too, like yeah. some shit like that like uh population control it could be i'm not gonna sit here and just shout out like but it is not it, right it feels that not way. real but it seems like it is deep on that shit you know what I mean? it feels that way. you can't put it past it that's mm -hmm. ask questions do research dig that's all you can do and, and even don't when you're stop digging at the first link. Yeah, Go even when you're digging, Google you gotta keep on digging because okay. in the internet you don't know what's real or what's not. And some things evolve, so you have to stay up to date. That's what happened. That's what happened. So on my Kanye take, man, I just wanna just announce that it is it is dangerous having him out here on his presidential run. I don't think we're in any threat of him actually winning anything, but I think that's the point of him being here. Yep. Distracted. And, and I believe he is being planted here Fact. for this kind of reason. And if so, Kanye, you are one of the most disgusting legend slash icons that probably we've come across. Because you are essentially playing on the public's perception of you. Using your mental health as a fucking ploy and a scapegoat. A crutch. A crutch to, to try and get votes, as well as your music, your your musical intelligence. You, you, you're using that plus the Sunday services, all of it. You're using all of it. It's disgusting. In this holistic pack, package that you're trying to prove and trying to portray. And it's unfortunately, you know, it's a dangerous thing. It's, it's becoming a weapon. Weapon. Hey, and I don't like it. If I can quote Kakashi Sensei real quick, he said that anybody that leaves their comrades behind or abandons mm -hmm. their comrade is like the lowest piece of scum on mm -hmm. earth. Kanye, you're lower than that, bro. Mm -hmm. You are so lower than that. I'll give you that one, my brother. I'll give you that one, bro. Another person that's low on the totem pole right now is uh, that boy Tori. Now, we strayed away from talking about this for the last few weeks, you know. I didn't want to really get into it too hard because 
both sides aren't talking. So I don't want to really take too much time on this. I just want to announce what has really happened or what is what has been publicized. You know what I'm saying? Can we get the breaking news music real quick? <laughs> 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 quick news update. Word. Quick news update in the Megan, Megan and Tory debacle, you know. Uh, the news update really is that Meg looks like she's doing fine. WAP is out now. Yo. WAP is out now doing great things for the eyes of many single straight men and even men that are in relationships that are watching it out of the eyes of their significant others. And women, and women who love the eccentric of the women body yeah, and man. beautiful things that happen. All, 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 a lot of people, single <laughs> and taken, a amen. are enjoying this. Amen. I all walks vote. of life I can vote are for Meg enjoying this one. All Thank right. you, Meg. Thank you. Meg is going to win. Regardless of what happened here. All right? Regardless. I don't care if she was beating Tori's ass. Which is what the report, some of the reports say. She denied that she put her hands on anyone. But some of the reports have said that she was whooping on Tori's ass. And, you know, he was trying to get her to stop. And he triggered Tai Chi, triggered Tai Chi to the foot. She don't, don't deserve that, that even if she was getting on your ass. You yeah. fucking run your ass out of there. Tori, I no. Tori to Meg, I think Tori can beat Meg in a foot race. Especially before you shoot her. Yeah, he could beat her in a I still race. think exactly. he could beat her in food. He's small. He doesn't weigh that exactly. much. Exactly. Like, he exactly. probably air dynamic. He's a small guy. So, in my opinion, he should have just got the fuck up out of there. You know what I mean? He's got the arrow. That you ain't got to, yeah, you ain't got to do the shooting and shit like that. But, that, you know. That's disgusting. Um, the, I, that's what he's just, going through. Foul. And then when you heard her explanation of, like, how right. she feels, and I'm like, it took me a little while because, like, you don't really understand it until, like, well, I'm not in it, but, like, you hear right. the other side of it. Mm -hmm. Like, like, yo, all these people making jokes and shit like right. that. Like, I'm still fucking post PTSD off this shit. And, well, now, I now we can get to the man. jokes, Meg, because you're doing videos. You're, like, yeah. a Revlon partner now. You're, yeah, she right. announced all this shit, and she's doing it. looked like you're working again. Now, that don't mean you're not mentally fucked up still because of the trauma. But that does mean we can move on past this, which means certain okay. people who do the jokes are going to do the jokes. Comedians make fun of shit that is not f supposed to be funny. That is what makes comedians great. Yes. Now, Joe Budden is not a comedian, you know what I mean? So certain people are making... 50 Cent is not a comedian. He's putting memes on, on Instagram. Yeah. Uh, fucking Tory as fucking the dude in the red car and fucking uh, boys in the hood oh, shooting yeah, Ricky yeah, yeah, yeah. and Meg is Ricky. You know what I'm saying? Like that's not funny. You know what I mean? That like, one, yeah, that was. That I was mean, funny. it's funny, but it's not funny. You know what I'm saying? It's not funny for me. Like, uh, like I would have preferred if Fifty went with the Harlem Knights. Now that is really good. Like, like fam. Now that's really good. Like, you That's know what I'm really saying, good. bro? I thought he would have went with Hall of Knights because it fits. All it he fits. was doing was stepping on them toes. You know what I'm saying? Like, he was stomping on them. She, was, she was whooping his ass. Was, so he shot her in the pinky toe. Yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, after, Allegedly. after they was stomping. Was stomping. So, that's really good, yes. But that's why he's not a comedian. Yeah, man, that's all I'm going to say y'all making, Tori, man. I just hope that situation gets um, situated. Um, Tori, I heard, got deported to Canada, but it wasn't because yeah. of that. the situation. Exactly. That's what they're saying. I don't understand this, because it's like Meg hasn't really indicted Tori. She hasn't said, Tori shot me. She still hasn't said it. She went on a whole live and said, it did, hasn't said, like, Tori shot me in the foot. You know what I mean? Like, she didn't say that, so it's not, like, yeah, I don't she know. Talk, she's not trying to talk about it. Right. Like, but person. we need a victim here because people are just going to keep talking about it and, and talking in circles so the about shit they don't know. Somebody, like the, the, the mob has somebody. And if like, there's nothing like, that's going to happen about it, then what are we supposed to do then? Then we're going to really start joking if there's no consequences because the nigga gets to come back and do music and, and act like everything's cool when you were hurt over something, like literally physically hurt. You know? 
and people are gonna go support that. Like, oh yeah, you I mean, he drops a new single. Niggas yeah. is gonna yeah. support yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. It is what it is. I'm pretty sure people are still listening to Old Tory right now. You know what I mean? I haven't, but it is what it is. I'm just, I'm sure that's that's how people move. You know, and especially when they don't know the situation. They don't really know. Like, yeah, we sympathize with with uh, men. You know. Well, we don't have the whole story where it's definitive saying, hey, Tori shot her. Tori was attacking her. You know what I mean? Uh, Tori was not shooting out of self-defense, quote-unquote. And it's like, maybe Kylie we don't know this writes story. a book about it. Word. But wait, speaking of couples. Yeah. Dr. Dre. Oh. And yeah. You know, now yeah. X going to be ex-wife. They, they say there's a prenup somewhere in here. But when I heard her defense, right, mm -hmm. like, she, she says forced. that she was forced and pressured into, you know, signing the prenup. Dr. Dre side says, no, there was no pressure. There was no force. Mm -hmm. I asked her. We got our lawyer together. Everybody looked over the paperwork. Everybody said shit was cool. Now, he did agree that he would pay her, like, yo, like, you know, regular divorce shit, you know. But she wants, I like, honestly... Uh, believe if you've been in with a long haul, like a long haul marriage, somebody years. does deserve money that gives off. You know what I'm saying? Like the breakup Perhaps. should end with some transfer of money. Some, some transfer, of money. but I think right. she wants like half the fortune because she's yeah, like, oh, no, she can't. may want more than she's you're getting. All right, right. yeah, or we don't she know the deserves. Numbers. We don't know. You know I don't know, but I do believe if because they were together for like twenty something years, that's a long haul marriage, right? And she deserves to get off this marriage and still live the kind of lifestyle that she's been living for 28 years. You know I mean? But let me ask you something, because, like, mm -hmm. I can understand that, but, like, for me, it's like, alright, like, how I would look at it is, like, alright, if we get married, mm -hmm. if we start a business mm -hmm. together, and we're, you know what I'm saying, like, yeah. I get it, let's say you, she gets pregnant, whatever, right. you can't work, stay the fuck home, I'm gonna take, I got this, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, or whatever, but, like, if y'all start a business together, and it's like, yo, you both started it. You both are doing the work for it. Right. Hell yeah. Give her her due. Yeah, well, that would also but, have to have some paperwork. That would just you know mean saying? she's entitled to the money. Like, but, it's, there's no negotiation on what the money is. She gets this because her name is in here. Now, when people start businesses, what people don't fall into all the time is doing the business right. They don't have both of y'all names on the thing. They just have his name. You know what I mean? So, while she may have contributed to the business and contributed to helping you with the business, her name ain't on it. So at the end of the marriage, then now we got a now we got a, a pickle yeah. because yeah, she's yeah. saying she helped do this, and he's he saying, said, "Well, her name ain't on it. So what the fuck she deserve so anything for?" You know what I mean? That's where it's okay. got you. But yeah, exactly. So that's that's where those type of things okay. can come can get skewed in the courts you know what i'm saying they can just you know what i mean it could be a, a, a still still trouble regardless you know what i mean like i hope it gets resolved some type of cordially peacefully right. and stuff like that yeah, like absolutely. i don't know why they get like I, mm -hmm. none of my business right, you know right. what i'm saying but it's like damn 25 years like it's a long time man. facts like for me i'm like thinking like if i ever get married i'm like i have my contract it's not a prenup mm -hmm. but i need 25 at least not 25 but at least 20 years of marriage so i can get my money's worth out of the ceremony the honeymoon and just being married i want at least 20 years mm -hmm. i want it for life right. but if she wants to dip just give me 20 years that's it then you can go off and we're good oh that's that's gonna be a stipulation in your that's how i feel about it because it's like <laughs> if we're gonna get married i don't want to get divorced five years from now 10 years i don't want to get divorced mm -hmm. like that shit costs bread, and it's messy. Oh, yeah, most definitely. But if you don't fuck with that person no more, it's just something you gotta fucking do. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, people change. That's the thing people don't understand. Like, people switch up on you, and then all of a sudden, you're in a marriage with a person you don't fucking like. Do you feel like and then you have to get away from that person. They might have rushed it maybe in that situation. Like you didn't thoroughly get well, to no, know this some person people do. Some people do everything right and then all of a sudden, boom. Shit happens. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's just this case by case basis with that. With their situation, it's, it's well, who knows, you know? Because right now with, with the negotiation about money, 
I don't know if Dre was on some, I, I'm going to pay her something. I'm just not going to pay her this. Gotcha. I don't know if that's what he's on. You know what I mean? I don't okay. know if he's on, she ain't getting a dime. I don't know if she, I don't know if he's on that. Yeah. And if he's on that, that's mm -hmm. fucked up. 20 something Facts. years, like I said, she Yo. deserves to get something. Maybe not half, because that nigga's a billionaire. So that'd be 500 million, right? That's Possibly. Something. He may be worth a million, don't have a bill. A bill, a bill. Facts. Just the Regardless, ass that's ass. around that number. Maybe 200 million. That might be too much for that nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, who knows? Just, he, she deserves a percentage of something. So she can still live the lifestyle that she lived with Dr. Dre for 25 years. You know what I'm saying? I can't. Damn. I'll let this shit close again. But yeah, no, it's okay. It's I can't. Okay. I can't just fucking like divorce you and then be back to like alleyway projects. You know what I'm saying? Like that's not how that that should work. You feel me? In any, and I'm talking about long haul only. Long haul. Okay. All right, fair. Yeah, that's, they that's put the, the they yeah. put time in two so and a half she, decades exactly. So she deserved that. If it's a five year marriage, Hell. no, you don't deserve none of that. You didn't. Th this shit just didn't work. You know what I'm saying? Facts. Twenty something years. That means something went on in your life where y'all split. Man, Mentally, y'all may have split something. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. That's long haul shit. Yeah. Short term, no. Nah. You don't you don't deserve all this money, no. No, no, no. Not doing that. You know what I mean? <laughs> Not doing all that. You know what I mean? But huh, speaking of long term, I don't even need a phone for this one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> speaking of long term, I got to drop a bomb for this lady right here. Jaguar right. Oh, has been spilling hot fire tea, like gunshot, gunpowder hot tea. Do we have any grenade sounds? Is I wish I did. I wish I had the hot sizzling on the steak on the stove, oh, just a good. steak sizzling all over this motherfucker. So we we obviously know of the passing of Malik B, uh, a fortunate passing of our uh, of the Roots Crews founding member so we got a lot of people you know obviously said they they, they two cents on you know to passing gave their condolences to show the love obviously to retry to be one of them aka black thought mm -hmm. um, jaguar right seems to be closer to malik b than all of the people everybody now malik b if we're not familiar with the Roots legacy, will it be after, I believe, their third album was no longer in the Roots, right? This is true. Now they cite a drug addiction to that and dealing with the streets heavy into all of that. So, okay, cool. Drug addiction is what ultimately led to his death, I believe, and, you know, things of that nature. So, Jaguar Wright felt slighted by the people that said their condolences and don't do shit for Malik B. So she was very upset at Black Thought, very upset at people that didn't even say anything. She was highly upset with Erica Badu, highly upset with Common. Uh, Jill Scott even got some strays from <laughs> people that we deem to be the cleanest, the best of type of people, right? So, she dropped some bombs. Now, obviously, she did a live hour long. And she did, she said she's doing this shit every day until niggas get, give Malik his flowers. I suggest y'all motherfuckers give Malik his flowers. Fucking she spilled some hot tea about y'all niggas that y'all niggas may not come back from. That nigga didn't even have no Common, you gotta come to the table, all right? Common, Common gotta come to the table. Common is being accused of sexual assault by this woman. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Common, allegedly, one day. So, listen, Jaguar Rice said she's witnessed many, many, many things on the. Because she's an artist as well. Let of me course, give her a backstory. Yeah, nah. She's an artist. She has some great credits to her name. She's on Song Cry with Jay Z, the, the vocalist of the Song Cry song. So, if you don't know her, now you know her, right? 
and she also has some uh, um, some other music. She has her own solo career. She was uh, Soul Quarian as well. All of that. She's down with the roots when they first started. When Malik B was there, once he left, I don't think she fucked with the no more too heavy, right? No. So, you know, all all of that. Let's, that's her backstory. She is an artist, so she said she's seen many, many, many things on tour buses with the roots that she hid. <laughs> you know what I mean? She never said, or she just didn't agree with. Nasty shit. Crazy shit, obviously, niggas gonna do... I mean, niggas fuck on tour buses. That's just uh, life. That's, yeah. that's consensual sex with that. Cool. Common! So she says, after a show, kickback, whatever, uh, Common and her was in the room together, and they was, I guess they was ready to do it, but she said, nah, I'm fucking tired. So she went to sleep. She said she went to sleep with all her clothes on because she on some... Nigga, I know how niggas get down. Facts. And I know, she said she'd been uh, sexually assaulted before, so she she's got that guard up. So she said, I sleep with my clothes on. If I'm not, if I tell a nigga no, and I'm in a room with a nigga, I sleep with my clothes on. So if you try and do some shit, if my pants is halfway down, I'm already gonna hook off on you. You ain't getting nowhere. You know what I mean? Facts. So that's a defense mechanism. <clears throat> so she says she falls asleep with her clothes on. Nothing happens. No sex that night. Cool. She waking up. She waking up feeling something poking all over her face. She's like, I'm feeling poking, poking, poking. She wake up, it's Common. Common is trying to put his dick inside her mouth while she's... What the fuck? This is all alleged, guys. This is what... This is her story from her mouth. I have all the reasons to believe her because it was too detailed for it to be a lie. Oh, now, shit. in this particular live, she was talking to somebody. She has done two lives after just talking to the camera and spilling hot tea. Just spilling it. Saying, Tariq ain't doing shit for Malik B. He ain't doing shit for Dice Raw. The Roots is terrible. The Roots, all y'all niggas is Jimmy Fallon dick riders. Jimmy Fallon was at my man's funeral sitting there laughing, doing drugs and coke and wilding the fuck out. And I had to tell him, chill the fuck out. It's some crazy shit. Well, Jimmy yeah, Fallon, yeah. I've been had a, a feeling like because I mean, she's not the first one. White people in Hollywood that do cocaine. That's not. Huh. But, but no, there's been people that like have like like former people that have people. gone on to like his show and shit like that for interviews and we even like bad he, stories. Huh? Yo, they're like yo, like yo, you know, like just like and then like when I start, like when they said that and like you know you do you know some psychology reading, mm. you start watching it. I'm like. Actually, he's actually kind of doing some of these traits. Okay, like I'll wait till this comes out on TV and they expose him. Yeah. Wow. So yeah, the common at his funeral, this man was coked up and every or whatever. Yeah, just tripping. I mean, listen, Jimmy didn't seem. It didn't seem that Jimmy knew this person that she was talking about. No. She was very, you know, very upset because it was the Roots' homeboy or whatever, and not even Tariq was correcting him. I had to correct them. You know what I mean? It was just shit that you wouldn't... You didn't think people with moral compasses act like this. You feel me? Facts. You know, I'm not releasing all the allegations, but that was the biggest one, the common shit. You know, um, she just... You know, the Erica Badu shit seems personal. It just seems like it's, you know, or some shit where her and... She didn't like that uh, Erica Badu was silent after Malik B passed or whatever. So, it's cool. That's personal. That's her own right. It wasn't nothing that Erica Body did that would make me have to do something now. So, you know what I'm saying? But Common, you gotta come to the floor, brother. That is oh. not cool. That is not cool. I don't care how long ago it was. Now, it's sexual assault. It is not rape. And I don't believe he deserves to go to court or, you know, have to do any type of, you know, go to jail for anything like this. But this is absolutely sexual assault. And if she decides to go forth with that, you know, criminally or whatever, she is. She has the right to do so. You know what I'm saying? But that's definitely sexual assault. Uh, honestly, man, like I, I got like I really want to see the truth come out right now. Uh-huh. I really want to. She truth seems come out. to have said she has seen mad shit of the sort on on toy buses, etc. With that crew, with that whole crew, the roots, the all the soul quarians, all the niggas that you. The niggas that we thought was about that fucking positive, righteous life. 
fam, like I'm. Oh, like, it, that, it's that, disappointing. Makes you disappointed in humanity. More. Yeah, yeah. It's it's disappointing, man. And now, this is not Jaguar Wright's doing. Talib Kweli is under fire, and rightfully so, because one thing I do notice. And I did notice about Talib Kweli on Twitter. He's now banned from Twitter. Oh, shit. Banned. But one thing I did see that Talib would get on Twitter and how he would get is he would respond to every single thing said about him. As if some of it negative, some of it not. Some people just asking questions and he getting off on them. And he getting, he going off like, He'll say some very nasty things. Uh, now, some people uh, are actually attacking him and deserve him being nasty. But it's okay. like when you when you're responding to everything negative, yeah. you are lost in the sauce. Now, somebody put up a post, or this woman put up a post of a list of black entertainers who are married to light skinned women. Now, this list is disgusting, in my opinion, because who the fuck cares who these black men are married to? Yeah, y'all think it's a lot of people. A lot of people, and I'm I'm gonna say this mostly women, like to harbor on what black men are marrying, when the statistics say eighty percent of black men marry black women. So the fact that y'all are harboring on the ones that don't, or the ones that marry light skin, light skin is still black number one. So you shouldn't be mad at anything. Like, cause it's like no, that's number one. That's number one for sure. So, yeah, the first off, the list is disgusting, and I don't agree with the list, but the response into what Talib went to towards this list, because his name was on the list, and his wife is light-skinned, but she's black. So, I don't know what anybody's problem is, but this woman that posted this list did not at Talib Kweli. He was just on the list. Okay. It's not like she said, oh, look at Talib. It's just she posted this list. Okay. And he's on it. Okay. So I live. Any pictures or just like? I don't like, even remember. I don't okay, know. Right. But I think it's just a list. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And it has the names okay. of the entertainers. Right, Maybe pictures me. of their wives. I don't know. And it don't matter. You know what I mean? But regardless, she posted. Doesn't really add Talib. Not really talking to you. So Talib takes it into his own you know, uh, wherewithal to respond. And he responded to this woman for 12 hours. Retweeting and retweeting and retweeting and giving his two cents and saying things. And he went on a tirade on against her. She never really mentioned you, bro. She wasn't here to try and defame your character about you marrying anybody, blah, blah, blah. Now, they banned him for that because it was harassment. That's harassment. You're adding her for 12 hours. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're wilding the fuck out. 12 hours. Now, that's where, that's where I don't agree with Talib because he goes too hard when he be responding to people. And that's just one example of it. You know what I'm saying? And that, that's the worst example of it. For you to tweet somebody for mad long all day and keep harassing her or harassing her, not cool. So he deserved to get banned for that. He deserved that. Yeah. Now, women are out shitting on Talib because they think, well, they using this as a, a determination to say he does not like black women. I don't know how you come up with that concept because he's clearly attacking one particular person. Now, it's a dis- disproportionate attack, in my opinion. He does, she doesn't deserve the attack. Yeah. But it's not attacking all black women. He's attacking that black One woman person. that said something yeah. supposedly about him. But he's being very sensitive he, about he, it. He took it way too long. Way too long. And, it's, too and, long. and, and, and that an Talib list. has to really check himself on because yeah. he goes hard all the time. So now he's on Instagram. He he said he moved his you know stuff that he put on Twitter not stuff that he put on Twitter, but he moved his his platform to platform Patreon. To Patreon, right. <clears throat> right. So he's on Instagram. He was always on Instagram, but now he's on Patreon, thankfully as well. Patreon, you gotta pay for. Yeah. I remember. I know the bo- the boxingvoices.com is on Patreon. They you gotta pay for the service. Because they because people are giving you money. Exactly. Exactly. So so you're basically doing what the people are asking you to do. You know what I'm saying? And all this so you know, 
that's what's that's what that's about. And um, he's moved his platform on Patreon and Twitter and on uh, I mean in Instagram and on Instagram. He's doing more of the same. He's attacking people that come in his comments and say, I remember, I just, I remember vividly one, uh, one person just asked him a question. Is she harassing you or is she not? It's something like of those lines. And he attacked that person. And I said, damn, Talib, you can't even ask you a question, bro. I would hate to meet you because I would have some questions on certain allegations that you're alleging. You know what I mean? And if I can't even ask them, like, what is what is dialogue for then? I thought he's a, a well-rounded, intelligent person. I thought conversation would be the way to, you know, debunk all of that. It's the way to Facts. do it. So but if we like can't have conversation, then what's the point, bro? Because if you disagree with him, like, oh, you right. like, I, I like I like strawberry ice cream. Chomp is the greatest in the world. Fuck, fuck you. you. Like, he would literally do some shit. Like, he would literally say, fuck you, like. Dogs, wow, Talib, it's, it's, it's I don't think it's, really it's disappointing. Disappointing. very disappointing. Like, very disappointing. I must say, I'm too sober for this. I know, right? I'm Gotta smoke so after this. Shit, Gotta man. smoke like, after this, man. It's a, we almost out of here. We grew yeah. up to these people, bro, exactly. and we used to, like, bro, we remember what? Them. Man, we remember them when I heard the Get By remix and I came is to the next, next, next day I'm in high school? Oh, please don't say that. Please. If most deaf is that is next, I'm done. Most deaf, yeah. Lupe Fiasco, please. I know, right? Please, like, oh, God. Like, it's like Lupe's yeah. the only one now. Right. Like, you pay, Lupe and most in that sense. So it's like, the I purest. don't Like, <laughs> what you just said right there, I don't want to see a black star with, you know, most deaf and yeah. Talib. I want to see a black star with Yasin Bey and Lupe Fiasco. Yeah, man. Listen, I still love, I, li- I still love Talib on the mic. He didn't do something where I'm a straight cancel him. I'm not going to cancel him, but I think that behavior needs to be checked. That's what needs to really happen. I think, I mean, he chills with Dave Chappelle hard. They're all all in Ohio right now doing this Dave Chappelle camp. Yeah. I believe, I I hope people are talking to him and telling him he he goes a little hard on social and goes a little hard on people. And I just hope he checks that. You know what I'm saying? And I, I'm not gonna sit here and say he hates black women, or he just. You know, I'm not gonna. I, I'm not gonna pay him that because that's not what he showed. He showed a disproportionate anger. May have some anger issues. You anger know what I mean? Issues, to something that he shouldn't probably have even been angered with in the first place. Maybe because if somebody is writing a like list logic. about you, yeah, facts. Yeah, he might be sensitive, and he might just be outwardly frustrated. Outwardly frustrated. And he goes and attacks. Logic hides in a corner. You know what I'm saying? But that's even bad too. Because yeah, like, no, that's oh. not good. Because when you hide in a corner, that means you may the further the the next steps to that is you harming yourself. Or it you know boils up and you take it out. And or take like, it out on somebody else. Yeah, and it, it's like and a ticking the time bomb. They get hurt, right? Like physically yeah. and emotionally. Like it's big time, man. You absolutely. Yo, right. we. I felt like yo, we really got to like at. In the black community, mm-hmm. I know there are strides being taken now yeah. a lot more than what we used to have. But we really got to, like, yo, really take mental health seriously. Serious. Like, Absolutely. real serious. Like, like, I, like diabetes, yeah, which man. affects us, too. Yeah. Our body. That's physical health. You got to take care of your physical health. Physical. And you got to take care of your health. Your health. It's all in, all in one. Yeah. All in one. That's a fact. Yeah, you better. Yeah, man. I really hope y'all take care of yourselves out there, man. Um, one more round of applause for Jaguar Wright for standing on her truth. Facts. I'm going to say it's her truth, man, because the way she was talking, if you watch the lives yourself, There's right? Love. You, if, yeah, go on YouTube. Go on everything. Just type in Jaguar Wright. She's on fire right now. You. Okay? Just type in that shit, and you're going to see the video where she was talking to somebody, where she spilled the shit about Common. And, and the shit that she said about Erica, you're gonna see her in a car just by herself. It's like an hour long video. It's like two of those, and that those are all spilling some fucking hot tea, man. Oh man, shout out to her, man. Yo. She did a she did a cipher for Malik B the day he died, and uh, it was in Dallas, Texas, and she was out there just showing mad love to Malik B, man. And uh, rest in peace to Malik B forever, man. And, uh, yeah, bro. 
we ended on a disappointing note, man, but I hope y'all keep on enjoying the great music that's out there. Right now is playing Conway Lemon by uh, Conway and Method Man. Uh, keep bumping the hard Griselda tunes and everything that's going on, man. And I am your boy, a.k.a. the Urban Analyst, man. I hope y'all had a great one and enjoyed this episode, man, of the Urban Analyst. Beat. Six. Yo, listen, thank you for having me here. This Definitely a disappointing ending, but like, yo, there's still a lot of fucking awesome music out there, everybody. Amen. Bump that shit to make yourself feel good while you're doing good. Stay well. Good looking, bro. Ugh. It's Yannick. Yannick. Bro. I know, I dropped bombs. Dropping bombs, bro. I'm gonna let you finish that, but bro, can, can, can we just like this yeah, shit? Let, let, Man, that was so <laughs> like, I, I, bro, I can't believe it. I couldn't I'm, believe when I heard that shit. So. I was very and annoyed was, about that, what I just said right, right now, but I literally, like, we done, we done, bro. Just I'm getting to that point where it's like, it's about to go over 50, where it's like, <laughs> I've lost faith in humanity. It's like, yo, I'm losing faith in all the people that I really fuck with, yo. They told us about this.